And we're joined by Dan Schlosser, the former president of uh, Search and Rescue in Kelowna, running for council. Uh, what issue has you sort of so motivated that you would want to join the crowd and seek a spot on city council? Well, I had, had first had uh, inclinations of joining council about uh, four years ago at the last election. But I was pretty busy with Search and Rescue. I mean, it, it's a busy organization, and uh, I was leading the group at the time. So I decided it wouldn't really be a good time. Um, last, I retired from Search and Rescue as president last year, and so I had more time on my hand with this election. And talking to a few friends in Search and Rescue and friends of, of the families and stuff like that, and they encouraged me to run again, so here I am. Right. So it sounds to, to me from our previous conversation that affordable housing is important to you. Talk about that a bit. Definitely. I have adult kids right now, and uh, they're looking at, you know, where, where's a good place to raise a family and, and that sort of a thing. But uh, Kelowna is becoming less and less of a viable option. They grew up here. I grew up here. And it just seems like an almost an impossibility. We need to kind of focus more on uh, keeping the people that actually live here and make this community grow. Get them into housing rather than building these big high rises that, you know, are a million dollar condos that... They have great views, but the only people that can afford them are from Vancouver or Toronto. Right. So you're talking about adult children who are gainfully employed, good jobs, yep. but still look at the housing market and there's nothing for them? Yeah. I mean, all my kids are working and uh, got good jobs, but they, they look at places like Calgary. They're, they're looking to go outside of BC or even outside of just the, the uh, valley just to try and find a home that's affordable. You know. So what can a city council do about it. it it seems to a great extent outside their control but you want to see more focus on developers coming forward with even condos more in the affordable range well definitely i mean you never they're not going to be able to control the housing prices i mean if the market goes up the market goes up i mean that it's kind of it organizes itself in a way right however they can build more affordable housing instead of buying building high rises and large lots Let's focus on townhomes and uh, condos and that type of a thing. Or maybe do some rezoning, more than they have been doing, in regards to carriage houses and that sort of a thing. And allow people to kind of infill the city and go over that way. Because honestly, you think we have a big lake to one side of us. We have a mountain range on the other side. We have lake country to the north that we can't grow into. And we've got a protected park to the south. There's nowhere to grow, to, to, to spread out. So we do have to either infill or go up. And I think people pretty much agree. We don't want a whole bunch of tall towers. A few is he here and there. They're here. Nothing we can do about it. But how? When do, you, when do you stop? At some point, you've got to start looking at the different communities and building up or building in there. So. So you, you mentioned carriage homes. You'd like to see them welcomed into more neighborhoods. Definitely. I mean, you got to do it where it's appropriate. Obviously, if, a play, if an area has a septic and is still doing that, it might be kind of hard on that. But if, if an area is developed and it's just a matter of they've got a good-sized backyard and they pass all the uh, approvals that you have to put in place, then why not? Why not do that, right? So, And like I say, you don't want to have it everywhere, but pick spots and maybe have a plan with those in mind, right? So. The other perennial issue that council has had to deal with is trying to do something uh, for the uh, homeless situation that we have. There's been a lot of effort made using other levels of government for funding, for supportive housing. Have they been on the right track, at least, with what they've been doing? Well, in my opinion, I feel like they're trying to put too much on the provincial government. Now, it is a provincial thing. It's not just our town that is doing it, that's having that issue. But it's in our backyard. It's as much our issue as it is the province. And I do think we need to do more. And it's not just a matter of getting people off the streets, but this, some of these people are dealing with substance abuse and addictions and stuff like that. And the ones that are doing that, let's get them some help. You know, rather than spending money on safe injection sites and stuff like that, let's spend the money on medication that's going to get them off the addiction. Right? Right. I think that's better spent. And I also think that, um, you know, we talk about that's actually probably the biggest issue, but connected to that is a crime, especially downtown. And it's not just in, in, in downtown. Um, Rutland's also dealing with it. I live in Rutland, I know that firsthand. Glenmore's also dealing with it. I know people who live in, in Glenmore, and they have the same problem. 
right? Just not to the same extent, but it's still there. Right. Yeah. Well, lots to work on. Thank you. Thanks for your time, and thank you for watching Kelowna Now.